welcome to a tutorial on how to graph a quadratic function on the T89 graphing calculator. We'll review how to adjust the window and also how to determine the vertex. The first step is to enter the function into the calculator. To do this, we press diamond F1, which brings us to the y equals screen. Let's enter the function in y1. So we'll press the up arrow, clear the old function, and enter the new function. So we'll enter x raised to the power of 2 minus 8x minus 20. Enter. And now to graph this function using the standard window, where both the horizontal and vertical axes go from negative 10 to positive 10, we press F2 for the zoom menu, then option 6 for zoom standard. If we knew we already had the standard window, we could have just pressed diamond F3 for graph. Now looking at the graph, we can see we need to adjust the window to get a better view of the parabola. We could try to press F2 and then scroll down to zoom fit, which is option A, or we can just highlight zoom fit and press enter. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Notice how it does give us a different view, but it's really not much better than the previous screen. Let's go back to the standard window. So let's press zoom and then six for zoom standard. Now using this window to begin with, to see lower on the graph, we'll have to decrease the y minimum, and to see more to the right, we'll have to increase the x maximum. Let's make these adjustments by hand by pressing diamond F2 for the window, we also don't need to see so much of the negative x-axis. Let's change the x-min to negative 5, enter. Let's change the x-max to positive 15, enter. Let's change the x-scale to scale by 5s, so 5, enter. And now we need to decrease the y-minimum. Let's try negative 50, enter. Let's increase the y-max to 20, enter. I must change the Y scale to tens. If this doesn't work, we'll come back and make adjustments again. And now to graph the function, let's press diamond F3 for graph. Notice now we have a very nice view of the quadratic function, which gives us this parabola. You can see here's the vertex, as well as the horizontal intercepts. If we were to graph this by hand, one of the most important points to find would be this low point here called the vertex. So let's find this point using the calculator. Let's press F5 for math. Because it's a low point on the parabola, it's going to be a minimum. So we need to select option three for a minimum. Let's press three. The lower bound means we need to be to the left of the vertex. So we'll press the left arrow. So that we're to the left of the vertex. Press enter. Upper bound means you need to be the right side of the vertex, so we'll press the right arrow. So we're on the right side. Press enter again. And the vertex is highlighted, and the coordinates of the vertex are given here below. The vertex has coordinates for comma negative 36. And now to find additional points on the parabola, we can use the table feature by pressing diamond F5. Before we look at the table though, let's look at the table set by pressing F2. Notice here the table start is at zero. The change in the table is by ones, which is good. Notice down here it says automatic. This means the table will be automatically populated so we can scroll up and down and determine as many points on the graph as we wish. If we change the automatic to ask by highlighting auto, pressing right, and then highlighting ask and pressing enter twice. This would allow us to enter any x value that we wish and the corresponding y value will be automatically calculated. Let's leave it on automatic, so let's press escape twice. Now that we're back to the table, if we scroll up or down, we can select any points we wish. It would be convenient to graph by hand. All these points in the table are on the graph of the parabola. Let's go back to the graph again by pressing diamond F3. Two other points you might want to find are where it crosses the horizontal or x-axis, which would be this point and this point. 
Let's also calculate these on the calculator. So we'll press F5 again, and the intercepts are going to be the zeros. So we'll press number two. We can only find one horizontal intercept at a time. So let's scroll to the far left. If we hold this down, it'll scroll automatically. The lower bound is going to be, in this case, above this horizontal intercept. So we'll press Enter. The upper bound is going to be below, so we'll press the right arrow and turn below. Enter. And notice how the calculator is telling us this point is negative 2 comma 0. Let's also find this point on the right. So again, we'll press F5 for math, number 2 for 0. Let's move the lower bound closer to the left side of the other horizontal intercept. So let's press the right arrow. We can also hold it down. Let's go ahead and stop here for the lower bound. Enter. Upper bound is going to be, in this case, above the horizontal intercept. Let's say here, enter. And now we know that the horizontal intercept on the right is the point 10 comma 0. So now we could easily make a nice graph of this problem on our paper. We found the vertex, we found both x-intercepts or horizontal intercepts, and we also found additional points using the table feature. I hope you found this helpful.